Welcome to the F Word, it's feeding time. On the menu tonight, black pudding, potato rosti and pan-fried eggs. Vila scallop with caponata and tiramisu. Plus, Chris Malls cooks a curry in a hurry. Bring the plate, man! So, you forgot oh, the plate! You didn't tell me to bring it! I take my son Jack on his first hunting trip. And my sheep move to very posh pastures. But your sheep are going to be shitting all over my garden. <laughs> Tonight's brigade of estate agents think they're hot property. What's that? Fuck's sake! Open the fucking windows, yeah, before the customers yeah. choke to death. But have they got what it takes to make it in my Mayfair restaurant, Claridge's? Let's go on with the starter. Steph. How you doing, sir? How are you, big boy? How you doing? Little Chris. How you doing? Andrew. You all right? Nice to meet you. And big Chris. <laughs> so, four talented estate agents. We are. And very talented amateur cooks, right? Yes. Estate agents have the most amazing reputation. <laughs> yeah, I thought so as well. For being great bullshitters. <laughs> yeah. Tonight, there's going to be no bullshit. Tonight, we're going to look after customers. Yeah, and we've got to deliver. OK, guys, come here. Let's do this together. Any questions as we go along, please, I'd really appreciate it if you asked, right. yeah? Right, what have you got in here? Sage, onion and the potatoes. Don't flood it with butter, otherwise it goes soggy, OK? So, nice and flat. That's it. And, and push, push it down. It around the side, yeah? So this is called a potato roshti. Basically a nice sort of crispy potato cake, yes? Potato's cooked, so it doesn't take that long. But be careful you don't catch it. Yeah, I don't want to see it burning, OK? Right. Eggs. Make sure you don't break the yolk. Guys, very, very quiet. No questions? Uh, uh, no, it's kind of right for that. Black pudding yeah. is cooked already. Yeah. It's already made. Yeah, it's nice and spicy. Three slices per portion. Turn well, them yeah. over. Let your black pudding rest. Right, so far so good, yes? So, first off, potato cake. Nicely on there, yes? Eggs, out, on. Black pudding, over. When you mix the black pudding and the egg yolk, yeah. it's delicious, yeah? A okay. little bit of salad, just the top of the plate. Right, right, let's do some right. Come on, boys. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, then, sorry. put a vinegar in. That's it. Over. No would you problem. pay for that, Steph? Oh, yeah. would yeah. Table nine, yeah? yeah? Let's go, guys, yes? Right. Listen up, four customers. Table one, please. Yeah, four black pudding, four veal scallop, four tiramisu. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Let's go, guys. <laughs> yeah, bro. Fuck me. I was made for the shit. Andrew, the yolk's oh, burst there, is it? Sake. Sorry? The yolk's burst. Andrew, yes, it has. It's burst. Sorry. You're all right. Sorry, chef. Don't be sorry, just fucking change it. Let's go. All right. Oh, fucking hell, it keeps on breaking it. Fucking arsehole egg. What? Stupid fucking egg. Keep the patches yeah, down. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, no, we'll start again, we'll start again. Chris, don't worry, mate. Chris, don't worry. If it goes wrong, we'll just start again. Fucking hell. Fuck. You know. Steph. Work, man. I'm doing another one. <laughs> You've just scraped it off the stove. Yeah? So and you put it back again. there. Would you eat that? So, no, nah, probably no. not. Get in the fucking bed. Let's go, quick. Chris, look, best yeah. thing to do, like I showed you, a little pan like that and just slide it off like oh, that. Come on, yeah. There you go. Now, you put that up to rest. And you wash it, yeah? Right. Give, me a, give me a spoon full of... Yeah, that one off. Put it on. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Fuck me. Yes. This is such a simple starter. Know, Each and every one of you are capable of doing this. But right now, we're all over the shop, yes? <laughs> right, potato cake on the plate, Andrew, let's go. Sorry, watch your back, watch your back, Chris. Watch your back. Train, eggs, please. Don't put the trays on the thing. Don't burst the yolk, yes? Definitely. Salad, please. Fuck, there's an eggshell in there. Why are you doing dressing, dressing in there? Problem. Watch me. Shake, yep. shake, video, and mustard's at the bottom. Oh. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Just watch. Roll round. Do a little dance. Yeah, shake. fuck the dance. Now clean, clean the, plate, the plate, please. Chris? Oh, yep. There we go. Service, please. Wait. The long awaited, yes? Table 14. Sorry about the delay. Wait. Okay, Wait. let's go. Wait. Fuck me. Okay. Table 14, let's What's go. Chef? This lot are convinced they can fucking cook. Never, ever trust an estate agent. Being a chef, 
being a build-up, you have to work for your money. Whereas I can pick up a couple of phone calls and I've made my six thousand pounds. There's opportunities to make a lot of money. I'm motivated by money and success. The way I see it, everyone needs bricks and mortar. Everyone's out there to make money. Just the red wine. Don't need the red wine. As a team, we're very good at cooking. You've got to be golden brown on both very sides. Good. I really like stir fries. You know, with your baby sweet corn, your peppers, your chickens, and things like that. It's a challenge. I like using my hands. I like to be busy. I think you're fine. I'm the hardest worker. No, you're not. Stop blowing your own trumpet, sir. <laughs> if anyone's gonna wind up golden the most, it's got to be Steph. Steph. He doesn't mean to, he just will. I can't take orders from anyone. Did you mix it and I'll do that? Just put it in. It's a brigade. We're going to be the best. 45 minutes have gone. Get a yes. take on you. We serve four tables. Move your ass a little bit, yeah? <laughs> How are you, my man? Very well. Good How to see you. you. Welcome, Thank ladies. You. How are we? Good. Enjoy the starter? No. No? I couldn't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you pay for it? Yeah, I'd pay for that. Yeah. Eight pounds? In, in here, yeah, not like yes. a, in a calf. No, it's way too much. You wouldn't get food like that in a calf. Well, you can get bait. You get, you know, black pudding and egg. What? But you get so <laughs> not calf, like that. You in wouldn't. In a calf, though, you get sausages with it. <laughs> Did you understand the menu? Because I devise a little easy format <laughs> menu, something to make you feel less intimidated. <laughs> Pictures of the side. <laughs> little you know, explanation. Do you know as much as you choke? I, I didn't know that Bill was a baby cow. Oh no, get away! I didn't know that. And in general, you're actually quite a fussy eater, aren't you? I'm not fussy. You're, 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 you're demanding. Fuck no, no, no cheese, no fruit. No, it's no, no cheese. Yeah. No onions, no tomatoes, no mushrooms. <laughs> right? Now, sadly, fuck you now. They're in most. You are most a confirmed dishes. fussy fucker. Well, huh? yeah. All right. Yeah, you, 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 you know, you eat well. What's that? What are they my tits? <laughs> no, it's. Uh... No, I, 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 I don't eat a lot. I really don't. I, but I, what I do eat is is not that great for me. Shocker. I'm going to see you after the main course. Okay. I'm glad you enjoyed the start. Are you happy to it. pay for it, yes? Absolutely happy. Yes. Very happy. I don't know about the rest of these. They're very no, tight. No, 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 I'm glad you're happy. Personally, I think that egg was well overcooked. The starter was OK, but it was something that I'd get at home. My mum would probably cook a bit better. OK. Results for the starters. Let's go. What do you reckon? 20, I think we did fine. 25. Uh, 25. Five, 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 five. 25. 25. The number of customers are prepared to pay for the starter. Oh, fucking hell, 14? Yeah. Only 14 out of 50? Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. <laughs> that is <laughs> shit. No, it's not good. It's not good, not good. I wouldn't laugh. There's nothing funny Why about that. What are you laughing for? That huh? shit hurts. 36 customers refused to pay? Yeah. Why? Too long, obviously. And the uh, egg all raw or overcooked or burnt. Unbelievable. Yeah. So far, that is the worst score ever. Seriously? Yeah, it's shit. What well, can we do, though, man? That's just all we can do. Turn it around that. That's it. You, Steph, you can come back. Yes, chef. You know, don't worry, you can come back from that. That Sorry. was crap. Bye. Let's make up for it and get 50 for Maine, yes? Yes, yeah, but fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. Next on the menu, my son Jack goes from boy to action right, man. When you think you're in line, yeah. reach forward and pull the trigger. Yeah. <laughs> Good <laughs> shot. <laughs> First time round. It's time for the main course a delicious fearless scallop with caponata. And the heat is on for is Chris off? Moyles. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> it's in fire! What's the matter with you, for it's God's sake? It's on fire! Welcome back to the F Word. Now, it's never too early to teach your son about birds. I'm taking Jack off on his first ever foodie adventure in search of something that we've really stopped eating a rook. Rook pie is an old English classic, but today it's almost entirely forgotten. That's a shame because thousands of rooks are shot every spring. They've become a real pest, damaging crops and stealing other birds' eggs. You're not scared about going in the woodlands? No. You look like an action man like that. We'll be shooting with gamekeeper Dave Whitby, an old mate of mine who's got a problem with rooks on his land. Welcome. Good to see you, mate. Good to see you. First time ever shooting a gun, yes? Yeah. Excited? Do you want to go back and call mummy? No. no. Let's go, buddy. Pound. Yeah. I bet you miss. Yes? I bet right, you miss. That's enough. When you think you're in line, yeah. reach forward and pull the trigger. Yeah. <laughs> Good shot. <laughs> First time round. Good shot. You got the target. Are you ready for another? One more? Yeah. Take care, Flame. When you're ready. Way! <laughs> what was the bet? <laughs> no, no, that's two pounds out of you. Oh, no. Okay. Jack's a chip off the old block, but today it'll be me shooting the rooks. We're heading into the woods where the birds nest. 
Um, the traditional way to cull rooks is to shoot the young as they leave their nests. OK, buddy, load me up, please. Oh, give me five. Don't miss, Dad. Don't miss, Dad! Don't scare them. Bloody hell. Jack. There's one through there, look. Oh, just up through there. Safe to catch off. Yeah. You got a leaf instead. Damn. Right, see if you can spot me, Jack. I think I can see one. Where? That black... There! OK, good man. Good man. Excellent. Good shot. Thanks, buddy. See if we can spot another one. See there! Good wow. shot. There's not much meat on a rook, so we'll need at least six to feed the three of us. Uh, how exciting is this, buddy? There! Right. Good. One just landed through here, mate. Good shot. Good. Excellent. Now can we go and get them? Yeah, there's one. Go and get it then, quickly. Go and get it. Jack may not be old enough to hunt for real, but he makes a damn good gun good dog. Man. Well done, Jack. Here, I'll pass well it to me, mate. It's got blood on its feet. Yeah, of course it's going to have blood on there. Let's go. Stop acting like a girl. Look you know, at how warm it is. Come here. Huh? Amazing. Huh? Is there Quite any clean more? shots, aren't they? Yeah, it's so huh? Well done. Good man. I've never eaten rook before, so I have no idea what it tastes like. But with a little TLC, we can bring this forgotten food back to people's plates. Now I want you to pull the skin back for me and rip off the breast, please. Quick as that, isn't it? Huh? I mean, that... Yeah. But listen, mate, you're doing a great job there, you know that, huh? That's his liver. Yeah, we could eat that as well. Yep. And there's its heart there, look. Turn it upside down, that's it, on his breast. Okay. Now from there, look, watch. Turn it round, and then we're just going to take the breast off there. OK. There we go. See? Yeah. Not that small a breast, is it? No. Huh? We're going to do something very, very simple, just a really nice rook. Salad, almost like a pigeon salad, with green beans, spring onions, beetroot, and a hazelnut vinaigrette. Yep. So we're going to sort of lightly marinate the rook first. Some salt and pepper on there, please. Nicely. And rub the garlic over there, please, Jack. Now, a little bit of hazelnut oil and a little bit of sherry vinegar. Now, get your fingers in there. It smells really nice. Nice, yeah, good. While the rook marinades, it's time for the salad. Green beans, beetroot, spring onion, and oak leaf lettuce. Good. Lovely. Drain the beans and add some salt, hazelnut oil and coriander. It smells. Yeah? Absolutely divine. Ready for the rook, yes? Yeah. OK, so touch of olive oil in very, very quickly. Wow. Literally seconds. Put the rest of the marinade in there as well. OK. Woo! <laughs> oh, look at that. Huh? <laughs> you don't want any rook because you don't like rook, do you? I do. No, you don't. I do. That's good, buddy. They're a lot more tender than I thought they would be, no? Mm. This, for me, is as good as, if not better, than pigeon. It just looks like a bit of venison. Yeah. I think it's about time that something like this bird, rook, should find its way back on traditional British menus. Yeah, absolutely. I would admit, I'm truly surprised how good that was. Are you happy with yours? Yeah. Yeah? That was delicious. Now it's time for the brigade to take on the main course. God help me. It's got a Baville Caponata. It's delicious, it's very lean, it's good for you, and it's a great alternative to beef. Now, Caponata. Basically, it's like a ratatouille, but without all the tomato puree, so you can identify exactly what's in it. Chop, peppers, celery, onions, aubergines. Now, it's really important to have something like an aubergine inside a caponata. It gives it that sort of bittersweet flavour. Hot pan, olive oil, season. Red wine vinegar, and that sort of wakes everything up. Tomato, basil, olives, capers. Lovely, it smells amazing. Out onto a plate, and that stops it from overcooking and turning mush. Wow. It's got a veal. Now, we're going to pan it. Basically, that means flour, egg wash and breadcrumb. Three very simple stages. A couple of tablespoons of flour, eggs, breadcrumbs, 
parmesan. But these will take it to a different dimension. A nice heavy coating of breadcrumbs and parmesan cheese prevents the veal from drying out. And now she's ready for the pan. Okay. Olive oil just just starts to smoke. In she goes. I love that sound. If it goes into a cold pan with olive oil, you've got the scallop greasy. We only turn it once. It can rip or tear quite easily. Check the colour. Wow. Now, this is where it gets really exciting. Pine nuts, capers, butter. And that helps to toast the pine nuts, fry off the capers, and really give the most amazing flavour. Lovely. Basil. Just the heat out of the butter will start to cook the basil. Caponata, be generous with it. Wow. And then with the veal, up and on. Summer's here. Veal escallop with caponata. Done. Yeah. Right, pasta. It's a very fine spaghetti. It's already cooked, so we're just reheating it. Yes, in literally 30 seconds. On the hot plate, let's go. OK, parsley running through. There, top of the plate. Fresh yeah. pasta. Caponata. On. The veal goes on. Well, yeah. If you make 50 portions like that... Boys, we've yeah. got to do it, man. You will have the biggest comeback ever. OK? Boys, right. Oh, right. Watch. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, wait. And right. then just go... Come on, boys. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Right, step up. Olive oil. Chris, two veal away. Table nine. They need the olive oil. Let's go, Chris. Yes. Four veal away. Let's go. Hey, Chris, we're not fucking this up, all right? Come on, right. come on, come on, two veals. Yes, chef. You have to season it first. Yeah. Season the veal. Sorry, Chef. You have to that? season the veal, that's right, yeah. Sorry, Chef. Don't put the butter on you until yeah. we wait till the first side cooks. Oh, you cock. Wait, wait, wait Steph, just wait. Turn wait, 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 Just relax. Just wait, bro. Not until the first side cooks. Come on. Is that right? Have you tasted it, little Chris? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you happy with it? Yeah. Are the capers in there? I want this more than him. No. No. Sorry. It's not ready. Well, flip your thing, bro. Flip your veal, bro. They're burning it. Yeah, okay, wait, where's the veal on that one? Guys, yeah, you know, can we fucking yeah. watch the pans, please? They're all on fire now, yes? Guys. Oh, they're fucking... Ooh. I mean, this is a joke. This is, this is an insult to catering. Chris, where's the cabinet? Where would you put it? What do you mean? I haven't touched it. I'm just dealing with the veal. Where's my plate? Can we clean the plate, then, guys? At least show that you care a little fucking bit, yeah? Service, please. Okay. I told you, Chimney. table eight, yes? Let's go. <sighs> Down. Thank Boys, you. Matt, oh, oh. Go. Oh. Steph. Yes, Chef. Steph, ready to go, yeah? Well, I told you, but flip it Why is the fucking gas on Wait, come on, you lot! Come on, why are you... Yeah, come come on, man, wait, Steph, get rid of it. Boys, guys, no, the whole restaurant's full of smoke. JB, open the fucking windows, yeah, before the customers choke to death, yeah? Please? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. It didn't need to be that That's fucking right, hard. Boy, hey. Seriously, no, did not need to be that hard. Clear down, guys. <sighs> the veal is quite soggy, so it's it's not got that kind of nice light crispiness around it. It's quite wet and a bit sort of stodgy on the plate. I like the capers and the olives with the veal. It was really nice, yeah. I'd definitely have it again. I'm not particularly enjoying it. It's The, the veal is woefully soggy. It's like a piece of, like, wet Brillo pad. Results, yes, main course. Let's go quickly. Right, Steph, how do you think you did? I don't think we did that badly. 25, 30. And that's not bad for you? Well, after 14, I don't think 25 yeah. or 30 is bad. Let's see, yeah, main we'll course. Here we OK, go. out of 50, how many customers paid? So. For the main course, 21 what? decided to play. Fuck me. That's not bad. That's shit. <laughs> right, here we go again. Um, enjoy the main course? Yeah. Lovely. Yes? Yeah. I'm surprised you fucking got it. They are an absolute nightmare in there. State agents. Oh, right, good. Yes. I, I, I thought they had a look of tosses about them. I liked it, but um, I, I wasn't sure what everything was. Right. The <laughs> caponata. The what? Caponata. Right, caponata. An Italian version of, like, a ratatouille, but without the heavy tomatoes. 
wah, wah. It's like a Charlie Brown. I just, I all hear, <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Don't listen, I've eaten it, so I've not been rude. OK, OK, OK. Now, you clearly love your food. Who cooks at home? Sophie cooks. Yeah. Uh, but I mean... Yeah, Tom and Sophie. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. no come um, on. Truthfully, no. Uh, yeah. No bullshit. <laughs> How often do you have takeaways? A couple, couple of times a week. I wouldn't say four. Four? four. four. Yeah, five. Four, four times a week. No, I've got a Christmas card from my lovely Indian restaurant. Jesus <laughs> but, but Christ on my You're always a good customer. Great. I'm going to get a surprise for you, yes? I'm going to phone them. Please, don't upset them. I yet. won't upset them. Right. Oh, Hi, it's Gordon Ramsay. I'm calling on behalf of one of your regular customers, Mr Chris Moyles. Do you know him? Yes, I do. He's a regular customer of ours. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's, what does he normally take away? What is it? I think it's the chicken curries with no onion. The chicken curry, no onion. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mabu, yeah. right now, I'd like to place the exact same order delivered to the F-Word restaurant. Listen, I'll give you a £20 tip if you get here within 20 minutes, OK? Yep, sure, no problem. Yeah. OK, we'll see you shortly. OK. Thank, Thank you. you. Right, so this yeah. is a challenge. No, no, I'm serious. I'm, I'm going to show you, uh, before he gets here, yeah. that we will cook together. Yeah, when? Now, <laughs> something cooking. fresh, right? delicious, fast food, curry. OK. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Right, ginger, chilies, garlic, lemongrass, right. all into there. Just pour it all in? Pour it all in. OK, easy. Yes. Okay. Lemongrass, so we're going to make it like a curry paste. OK. A bit of oil. Right, shake, shake, shake. That's it, good. OK, good. <laughs> right, into the pan. Yeah. Good. Nice. Oh, oh no, no, the thing fell off. Not the fucking blade. Okay. No, but you didn't right. tell me. Chicken in. Right, I'm doing exactly the same, you know that. Okay. Exactly the same. Lime leaves in, soy sauce in. All the way around. How much? About 100 mil. Okay. We've got to move our ass now, otherwise fucking Marvin will get here soon. Trust That's me. That's good. Trust That's me. Nice. It'll never be here in 20 minutes. Huh? What's that? Seriously, come on, what is that? This. <laughs> come on. I really don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what is it? Come on. I don't know. I don't... It's a cinnamon stick. Right, OK. Right, is that okay. what cinnamon is? OK. Chicken seared off. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> come on. It's in fire! What's the matter with you, for God's sake? Because it's on fire! I... OK. <laughs> and again. OK, right. Smell that. What does it smell of? Cream. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Come on. Qu uh, it's coconut milk. Coconut milk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, OK. In she goes. Now, aren't you happy with that? Well, um, yeah. What do I do with these? Right, they're green beans. Yes? Right. That just gives it a little bit of sort of body. Right. You don't no, have to put them all in if you don't no, want them. No, I'm not putting them all in. Don't cut your fingers off right now, yeah? Please, OK, so what do I do with it? Look. Yeah? That's Ding. it, and then throw it in. Then we're going to chop it now. OK. Hand on. All right. Do not cut your fingers, please. OK. You fucking... <laughs> mm. OK, done it. Right, now. Curry under in. Ready? In. OK. Get out of the way! Come on. OK, listen, curry's nearly here. OK. Now, off. Where? And in, look. I'm watching. Yeah, just all in there. Nice. Okay. OK? OK. OK, good. Oh! I've never made that noise okay. before ever in my life. No, no. Right. Pass you can. Come on, man. No, no, come on, come on, come on. I am! I'm coming, I'm coming! Bloody hell, fire! Right, that's it. Hang let's on, go, let's go. Quick, no, bring the apron on, come on! Am I bringing the plate? Quick, what, this is what? part of the challenge! Bring the plate, man! To... You forgot oh, the plate! Gonna... You didn't tell me to bring it! <laughs> that's the challenge with the plate, it's there! It's... You <laughs> Oh, shit! Oh, God! Let's go! Oh, here, I'm here. OK. OK. <laughs> Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well done. Yes. Fucking hell. Huh? Look at him. Hey! How are you, big boy? Not bad. How are you? Good to see you. Nice to see you. Let's see. What's in there? Chicken curry, no oh, onion. You should also get a free papa job. Is there a free papa job in there? There is. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to have a taste now, side by side, yes? Okay. Okay. I, I just cooked it. Right. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> you can have a taste. And you as well. I cooked this, by the way. How's that? I don't know. I'm going to wait for Gordon's reaction before I eat mm. it. That is nice. Really? Seriously. But it's very nice. Mm -mm. I think you did it. You know what? That's nice. Do you like that? Seriously. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> right. Mm. Mm. Please don't get me banned. No, but... Oh, mm. It's nice, but it's very greasy. But Mr Moore loves it anyway, doesn't he? I have to say, I actually prefer the one you make. Thank you. No, no, seriously. Thank and let's much. be honest, a lot easier, a lot quicker. And just think, good food mm. can be made faster and better than a takeaway. 
Yes. I, I did a, I, good, I did a by, good job. You, you I did? Know. I know. Yes? Yeah. OK, thank you, Marbu. Thank you, Roshan Thanks, Thanks for coming. Thank yes. No problem. Good to see you, buddy. Thanks, yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Thanks, Good back. to see you, then, yes. Sometime Keep the open, because you've been using it at home, yes? Yeah. yeah. All right, yes. thank you. Well done. Thank Thanks, you. Gordon. Next on the menu, builders put their junk food ways behind them. Um, I'm going to show you my tool now. Yeah. It's time for dessert, an Italian classic, tiramisu. And comedian Mira Sayal is hot stuff in the recipe challenge. Well, it's quite instantaneous, actually. <laughs> Sexy grandma. <laughs> Welcome back to the F Word. Here's the first, builders doing things quickly. We all think that builders are lazy ass slackers who are always on a tea break. So when I heard there were three builders from Essex that were constantly whinging the fact that they never had chance to eat properly or cook for themselves, I had to meet them. These boys rip out and replace kitchens across Essex and they reckon this leaves them no time to cook or eat properly. I'm fed up eating the same thing every day. It's just uh, pork pies, uh, chocolate bars, crisps. You just really don't get the time to go out there and get something to eat on a proper basis. It's always a case, the nearest location where you're working, that's where you're going to go and eat. We'd love Gordon to help us uh, create something, ideally within half an hour, to keep us on fire throughout the day. Everyone's got time to cook if they've got the right recipes. And I mean everyone. Essex builders. No, they're probably having a fucking bacon sandwich or sat on their ass. <laughs> Gentlemen, good morning. How are we? Tony. Tony, good to see you, big boy. You, you well? Michael, no, I'm Harry. Harry, nice to see you. Oh, mate, Gary. Gary, how are you, big boy? Good. Why, mate, yeah. So why have you got a reputation of being such lazy fuckers? Uh, not us. <laughs> Definitely not this site. No way. So... We're dealing with people's homes. This is not some, you know, no. building site where uh, if you are sitting on your ass in a port cabin or something, uh -huh. you can get away with it. Right. How long would it really seriously take to, to, to rip the kitchen out? Without any tea breaks What's or bacon butty? Yeah. yeah, the actual, uh, the actual rip. Yeah. About an hour maximum. I'd like to see how difficult it is ripping out a kitchen. I'd like to become a proper builder. Yeah, I'd like yeah. to become a proper chef. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like, not with fucking bling bling like that. <laughs> <laughs> you look like oh, alone, mate. Yeah. Jesus Christ, there's more gold on that than there is in fucking marriages. Okay. Go on, for one. Shit. Go on, this way, mate. Can you get my hammer four out of that box first, please, mate? Hammer four? Yeah. Fuck, mate. What is a hammer four? It's banging nails in! <laughs> 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 what tattoo have we got on there? What is it? The tattoo? PG tips? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Tony, what is it? 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 Well, you're not just doing this because I'm here today, are you? No, no joking. Every, every single day, day of the week. Every day. Yeah. Every day. You're fucking grafters. Mm. You work your ass off, yet you're fucking abusing yourselves. I'm going to show you my tool now. My tool is a powerful oh gas stove in the builder's tent. There's still half an hour demolishing left to do, so I'm going to show the Rubble Brothers that they can oh, cook a delicious lunch in less than 25 minutes. Yeah, we haven't got much time, yeah? We're going to do a very quick, easy beef stew. Onions, garlic, thyme. Hey, look at the style of this. See that on there. The secret behind this dish is one pot. So it's like a one pot wonder, yeah? Yeah. OK, good man. Right. Simple philosophy, no colour, no flavour. The reason why I've cut them into small chunks like that is to cook it faster. Right. These guys had better get a move on. I am not going to be beaten by a builder with a bum crap big enough to park a bike in. Yeah. Very good. No smell. <laughs> <laughs> Tablespoon of tomato puree. So creme fraiche. It just lines up a little bit. That is that is amazing. It's such such short time. Amazing how quick it comes together. Yeah. Gary, <laughs> this is where all the hard work's been going on. <laughs> Gary, you've been working hard, my man. Here you go. Look. You'd never get this quality food from a takeaway. No. Harry, I can't believe you cooked this, mate. Yeah, I'm going back to my own kitchen now. Oh, but first, right. here, this is for you guys. <laughs> yeah, I want it in the back of the van. I want you to use it. You turn it on, get it hot, put your pan on, and cook. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. I've always wanted a drum machine. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, tiramisu. Stick to your pairs. Yeah. Work together. Let's go. No. Start whisking. Ice and sugar in. Pour in, bro. Put some effort into it now, yes? Yes, Let's go, yes? Enough vanilla. Masala. Yep. Yeah, good, right. Cream in, let's go. You continue whisking. Cream in, let's go. Steph, taste it, yes? Oh, 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 oh. Give it a nice. lovely, lovely, lovely. Little Chris, yep. put it in the back fridge right. set, please, yeah? Let's yep. go. Time for dessert, yeah? An Italian classic. <laughs> Tiramisu. Basically, pick me up. That's what it means in Italian. But it's easy, simple, delicious, and very, very fast. We split it into two bowls. Mascarpone. Put that into the bowl and just let it go nice and soft. In the next bowl, 150 ml of cream, ice and sugar, whisk. Now, it's really important that we don't over whip this cream. We're just looking like a nice sort of thick lava consistency. No more than that. Already, within seconds, it's got nice and sort of light and soft. Vanilla extract. Now, we use an extract over fresh vanilla because it gives a really nice sort of dense, dark colour. Masala wine. It's got a really nice sort of cafe au lait colour now on the cream. Coffee. Now, it's really important that coffee is ice cold. Just add in thirds. Don't add it all straight away. Fold in our cream and ice and sugar. Lovely. So it's a really nice, light, Tiramisu that is fast and sets within 20 minutes in the fridge. Bowl, coffee, ladies' fingers. And just into the coffee, turn them round and out again. So what happens now, they're soggy on the outside, but still nice and crispy in the centre. Take your martini glass, fingers in. Be generous with it. Fridge, 20 minutes. Chocolate, great. And look, nice little shards. And then, finally, cocoa powder. Beautiful. Italian tiramisu with ladies' fingers. Done. Steph, yeah. yes, sure, yeah. Chris. Yeah. Four tiramisu three, away, let's three. go. Three. Try not to fuck it up, yeah. please, Steph. Do you want to do the cream? What should I do? I'm gonna dip and get this ready for you. Come on, bro. Presentation, man. Four away, big Chris. Let's go. Four away. Four, Four away. away. But it's gone too soggy, you know. Yeah. Be careful not too long. See, they're coming out really soggy. You want them to come out to really hard? Put it in. The most important thing about this challenge is get it out fast now, yes? Why are they coming out so soggy? It's all soggy. Yeah. Just dip it in the fucking thing, bro. Just, Just do it, man. It's done, isn't it? It's done. You need first one? Fucking yeah. hell. Still, oh dear, oh dear. Four's up. Service, please. Let's go. It's not That's what it should be like. Oh, I need four away now, please. Right, Tommy, we have to wait to get four. more ingredients, Come on, please, please, come on, please, come on, please, come on, come on, man. Come on, fucking hell. Come on, yeah, give me that. There's four of you in there. Come on, get a line going. Get some form of organisation going now. Come on, come on, come on. This should be flying out. There's actually nothing cooked, guys. You're just putting it together and put it in a glass. That's it, that's the one. Chris, give me glasses. Chris, give me glasses. That's it, please. Go, please. Double 14. Let's go. Yeah. I want to make them up for myself. That, for me. Oh, it was boys, a fucking service from hell. It's not good, but I've been here for seven hours, so I'm starving, so I'm going to eat it. <laughs> Tiramisu dessert was absolutely gorgeous. Really light and fluffy, and I loved the, the moist biscuit. It was, it was really, really stunning. I really, really loved it. <laughs> got some out your mouth. What? You've got some out your mouth. Now. Goodness gracious me, Mira Sayad is going to try and beat me in the recipe challenge. Ready? As I'll ever be. Now, you're cooking something authentic. Yeah, I'm, yes? I'm cooking my, um, my third kadal. Dark kadal? Yeah, which Lovely. is a kind of staple Punjabi dish. Yeah, very much staple. Very simple. So the idea is that you select the dish and I have to come up with my own version of it. So I'm going to do right. um, a vegetable korma. And so I'm going to use lentils, um, squash, aubergine, carrot, and you're going to have yeah. what in yours? Basically, tomatoes, lentils, and spices. It's very basic. Fantastic. 
I cannot believe I'm cooking vegetarian food. Do you know what? I was just thinking that. It's a bit of a climb down for you, huh? Mr. Meatman, isn't it? My God. <laughs> now, why did you choose this particular dish? I cook it a lot. It's, uh -huh. it's a real favourite with the family. And, of course, lentils are really, really good for you. Does it make you fart? Uh, yes. Really yeah. badly? Well, not me. I'm a lady. I so, don't do that. Yeah, why is that? Ladies don't fart. We don't fart. It's never. Never. <laughs> we blow our noses very loudly Mir and we Mira. expel the air that way. My wife farts. No, don't and say it, that. And, and, and then she blames the children, which is so unfair. <laughs> yeah, children are very useful for that, aren't they? And dogs. Fantastic. I'm so glad we're talking about bottom things I, while we're cooking. This is lovely. I know, I know. <laughs> now, my God. Your ring's enormous, Mr. Ramsey. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mira. <laughs> Dear, oh dear. I hope my mom's not Goodness gracious this. me, my ring's enormous. Thank you for that, my darling. Right. I'm not used to talking huh? on such a, a big thing. What are you doing there? I'm basically <coughs> frying up the ginger, garlic, cumin seeds, and mustard seeds, which are going to form the basis of the dal. You have to really make sure that cumin seeds are cooked. They need at least two minutes, because if you undercook them, they make quite a bitter taste in the dal, so you've got to be quite careful with them. Now, in here, garlic, ginger, shallots. I'm just going to make a very quick sort of paste and blend them. That helps to thicken the korma and give it some sweetness. What are those spices you putting in there, my darling? Um, I'm putting in garam masala and nice. um, ground coriander. Lovely. Now I'm using garam masala as well. It's the all-purpose spice. Oh, yes. What lentils are you using there? I'm using a mixture of red lentil uh -huh. and split mung. I find that mung on its own is very watery. Yep. And if you mix them, the red lentils are a bit firmer, so you get a nicer consistency. So onions, mustard seeds, star anise, and cinnamon stick. Now, that's just to infuse the oil, just to get everything going in a way that we're sort of getting it nice and spicy and making the foundation. And I'm going to pop in a whole green chilli. Oh, whole? A rather large green chilli. That is a very large one. Yeah. Yes. Have you ever been in an Indian kitchen and actually, you know, cooked? I live in a bleeding Indian kitchen. Why do I need to go to one in a restaurant? No, 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 but in terms... <laughs> That's what I do You get paid for it if you do it in a restaurant. <laughs> but I've spent a childhood, my whole childhood, watching my mum and my aunties cook. Really? Oh, yeah, from when I was really little. Is that how the inspiration of the Kumars, is that how it sort of arrived? Yeah. From the family point of view? Absolutely, Because yeah, that is yeah. hysterical. I grew up surrounded by very strong, funny women, you know, completely away from the cliché of what people think Indian women are about. And food was a huge part of my childhood. Food is a huge part of Indian culture. It's how we connect. And it's... Yeah. I think for my parents as well, it's how they keep home alive. When we were little, it was like soul food. Indian food was like the living connection to back yep. home, you know. That's what food should be about. Food's about love, isn't it? Family. Food is love. In fact, I couldn't love anyone that didn't love food. Yep. I... Really? No. I don't like hot food. No? <laughs> I know that uh, seems blasphemous for an Indian, but actually I think a lot of... What people mistake for curry... Yep. It's just a whole lot of chilli and not much else. And I think good Indian cooking has layers of flavour in it. Is that because you get rings thin? Yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> See, it's, it's quite common in chefs, you know that? Is it? Yeah? And chefs love curry normally Friday night. Yeah. Normally Friday night. But you see, that's the cliche. It's like, yeah, we'll, you know, we'll come out of the pub, we'll have a ruby murray, we'll eat something really hot that'll impress our mates, and we'll yeah. throw it up on the pavement outside afterwards. And that's quite an insult to what is a fabulous I know, and I know. complex it is an cuisine, really. Yeah, but that's that legendary sketch, isn't it? Going yeah, for an English. Going out for an Indian Absolutely. and sort of overindulgent and going yeah. out for an English, yeah. which I have to say was one of the funniest sketches I've ever seen. What are you doing? Can I come and see? Yeah, of course you can. So, vegetables are in, butternut squash, courgettes and aubergine. Yeah. Yeah. Then I put my almond paste in with the ginger, shallots and garlic. Almond paste, that's clever. Yeah. I'm going to add my lentils now. Which ones are those, then? Now, these are the pre-lentils. Pui. Pui, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, after that, come High back. wind factor, I so, would say, I know. this dish. Yeah. Warn your wife. So, yeah, I know. Bloody hell. <laughs> Are you working on a new series, the Kumars? No. Well, we've huh? done seven. Yeah. And I suppose there is something about going out on a high. Yeah. You don't want to hang around to people think, oh, God, not them again, so... Well, it's great, though. Yeah, it uh, was fun. That sort of voice you put on, how long does it take you to sort of, you know, get up to speed with that? Well, it's quite instantaneous, actually. <laughs> Sexy grandma. <laughs> so what are you going to do to yours next? Oh, Is that yes. it? Oh, I don't know. Let me have a look. No? How many Asian mothers does it take to change a light bulb? Oh, I don't know. Don't worry about me. I'll sit in the dark. <laughs> hey! No? All right. So, Please just That's stop. lovely. Uh, that looks all right. Mm, and you see, it doubles as a face mask, because you can just put your face so, on <laughs> here. And steam. And steam your paws. And steam away. Yeah. 
So I'm going to just finish mine with a little touch more of coconut milk, a couple of tablespoons, freshly chopped coriander, and then squeeze a fresh lemon in there. Tell what you do now, you're putting your garlic in there? Yeah, it's very simple. It's just garlic, tomatoes. Yep. And what do you call that, darling? A thurka. So I think it means, like, a sauce or yep. a topping, maybe? I don't know. Right. They both simmer now for 20 minutes, then our blind tasters get their hands on it, and then I'm going to win. Simple as that. Next on the menu, I take my sheep to palatial pastures. We're going to Beckenham Palace. Look at the size of it. They find it very delicious. Before and then. I find out who wins the recipe challenge. Uh, but the winner for this time... Yes. ..is... For the past five weeks, I've been looking for the next great female TV cook to fill the aprons of Delia, Nigella and Fanny Craddock. I've had thousands of applications so far. Hi, I'm Ellie. Welcome to my kitchen. So let's see if we can bring back the Fanny. But what I want to do today is to make sure that we use everything that we've got in the larder. So see you in a bit. We've got some stirring to do. Now this will be perfect for some people. Other people prefer a richer chocolate flavour. There we go. While that's cooking, I'm going to get on with the mayonnaise. Thank you. I'm going to start off by making chocolate magic melting mayonnaise. Okay. Just going to check on recipe. Cooking nicely. And I'm hoping that you'll give me a chance on your programme. An Asian family. What do you reckon? Those are some of my favourites. Ah. Welcome back to the F Word. Now, time for the results of the recipe challenge, and I'd like to say a big apology to all Mira's aunties, because she's about to lose. Ready? Thank you. Ready, my darling? Let's plate up. Manage. Good. OK. Curry leaves out. Right. Dinner! That, that <laughs> looks lovely, by the way. Thank you. You know that? Want a little taste? Of course. Oh. That's nice. Shit. There's a spoon. Would you like to taste mine? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Quite nice. Damn. Yeah. Right. Are you ready, my darling? Yeah. Okay. Where is he? My little French fighter pilot. Right. Good luck. Yep. Come back with some good news. Bon yes. Some wins. Hey. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. Okay. So dish number one. Mm. And this is your dish number two. Mm. Wow. Okay. You can really taste the lentils, and that's delicious. You can taste the coriander as well. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Mm, it's it brings out the yeah. flavours. Nice, subtle flavours. creamy. Well. It's very kind of fragrant. Should we try it yeah. on the bread? Yeah. It's a really I'll nice consistency as well. Yeah. Should we go on to the second dish? Mm -hmm. OK, let's try this one. This one looks quite greeny, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. It's got mush. A lot of flavours in this one. Very different. Good mixture. Stronger, isn't it? Yeah, it's stronger type. Stronger it is, yeah. Much more yeah. I think there is mustard in there. A bit punchier. OK, mon ami, how will our tasters? Um, Are they yeah, happy? They, yeah, very. They, they love both, both of them, by the way. Uh, it's very close. Uh -huh. uh, but the winner for this time... Yes. ...is... Come on, stop fucking around. Who's the winner? <laughs> yeah! Oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> um, can I just say, that was delicious. Oh, thank yeah? you. Yeah. Thank um, you very much. And you've been an absolute star, and that's one of the most exciting challenges I've ever had. Oh. Um, Mira? Check, please. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. Well done. Now, oh. fuck off out the kitchen. <laughs> Take my ticket uh, with me. Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> Thanks, Bye. mate. Several weeks ago, I brought my crossbred lambs, Charlotte and Gavin, to London. Soon, my flock had eaten me out of house and home, scoffing over two kilos of grass and veg every day. It's damn hard work, like having a second family of vegetarians. My special sheep have been staying in Sarah Beanie's garden for a couple of weeks. Ow! She's done a great job, personally ensuring that they're happy and healthy. Where are they? In just a few weeks' time, they'll be the centrepiece of the F-word menu at Claridge's. Good to see you, my darling. They have grown, haven't they? They have, oh. yeah. And really? They eat a lot. They do, don't they? The grass yeah. has gone down, hasn't it? Grass my God. Gone, yeah, and we've been giving them a lot of little extra tidbits. Really? They're very friendly, actually. They get on very well with us. And they play football. They Fantastic. love it. <laughs> <laughs> Sheep will gorge themselves on good grass, and even Sarah's lush lawn has not been enough. Following shaggy sheep farmer Hugh Foley Whittingstall's well advice, it's time to move them up the property ladder to a new home. None of you know where they're going yet. Grandmas? Grandmas, no. I don't know them. We'll be there in about one minute. Is it David and Victoria? 
Victoria's house. Who said that? Me. Well done, Tilly. That's right, David and Victoria's. I said that. We're going to Beckenham Palace. How lucky are they? Thank you, mate. I've got the zoo with me. And the sheep. Thank you. How cool is that? David and Victoria were in Madrid and couldn't greet their new guests personally. Grass and grass and grass. We were shown round to the back garden, all 17 acres of it. Hi, guys. The grass is so long. I'm huh? Clark, the estate manager. Clark, good to you see you. Phil, the gardener. Phil, how are you? Yeah. And it's all safe and it's all fenced yeah. off. And Victoria made it very clear. She wanted it all checked out and made sure it was all like Serious? for you. Yeah. It's a big moment. Time to see if my sheep will take to their new home. Come on, come on. Stand back, stand back, hold. Stand back. Look at the size of it. Huh? Thankfully, my flock settles quickly into the lush grass of Beckenham Palace. It's better than being in Wales. That will shut up Hugh Pearly with and still whinging about them being in the city. Yeah, right, I'm going to call Victoria and say thank you. Hello. First of all, thank you. I mean, this place, I thought we were going to put them in a pen, but we've got the whole back garden. Thank you. <laughs> we wanted to treat your sheep well, so I hope they're going to be happy. <laughs> Have you seen how long the grass is here? Uh, honestly, I've lost my feet. We can barely see Jack. Well, we've, we've lost small children in that grass. <laughs> <laughs> so your, your sheep are going to be shitting all over my garden. Uh, but, you know, can I just say there's an advantage having sheep shit in your back garden. You know, it actually fertilises the ground. Really? And... <laughs> really? OK. <laughs> I'm going to miss my sheep. They've become part of the family. And now they're so much further away from home, it's going to be hard not to worry about them. OK, starters, 14 out of 50. Mains, 21 out of 50. Desserts... 27 out of 50 have agreed to pay. Let's be honest, that is a fucking embarrassment. There's one bit of good news. You're definitely, definitely, definitely not coming back to fucking Claridge's. Now, do me a favour, yes? Fuck off out my kitchen, yes? Go, yes? Out. Fucking hell. 62 out of 150. That is shocking. The worst by miles. Fuck me. On the menu next week, I ride the Buffalo Rodeo in search of the perfect mozzarella. <laughs> Fuck me, how do you stop him? Oh, shit. Janet Street Porter proves she really will drink anything. Here's Golden. Uh, that is 100% pig's blood. I know you're a pensioner, but now you're a blood-sucking pensioner. And I get some shocking news about my lamb, Charlotte. We don't know, so obviously I wanted to ring you straight away with like, the bad news. And, uh, Fuck it, what you wanted to sort of do next. Thanks for watching. Good night. I've got all your pans. Shit. <laughs>